Greetings to all of you in the precious and wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Uh, I love and I miss you guys. Uh, soon we'll be able to worship together, uh, together in one place. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our pastor Frank and Rita Boysen, along with the church council and its members for another awesome opportunity of sharing God's word. Uh, beloved, today I've entitled my message that we should stand out as children of God. Beloved, can we personally say that we stand out as children of God? Uh, in the world we're living in today, we are presented with so much of opportunities where the world will look down upon us if we, if we come out as children of God or we stand firm to our faith. But the question is to you and I, can we stand out? Can we honestly say, I am a child of God. I will stand up for righteousness. I will stand up for what is right. Yes, in the world that's full with worldly and earthly pleasures, can we stand out? Can we be set apart? And will the world be able to see Jesus in us as we stand out? Today, I'd like to take you uh, through a very common and well-known story in the Bible. It's about three boys. And uh, they, are, they are Jewish boys and they have Jewish names as well. And their Jewish names are Hananiah, Mishael, and Hazaria, yes, but they also have Babylonian names, and we know them very well by their Babylonian names, and they are none other than Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, yes, the three Hebrew boys, and we know the story very well because they were thrown into the fire, and their God delivered them. This, right now, can we stand out as children of God, even if we are put into the fire? I'll leave you with that. But if you look at the story, the king chose these three boys in a high office in Babylon, which means the king knew them. The king respected them and he, and he saw them to be accountable and responsible young men. And he put them in a high office in Babylon. Now the king knew that there was something special about them, but he was not sure what it was. Now, beloved, when you are a child of God, you will automatically find favor with God and man. Remember that always. When you stand out and to be different from the world, to show the world who Jesus is, you will find unmerited favor in God's eyes and man's eyes, like these three young men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. <clears throat> In the Bible, we see in the book of Daniel chapter 3, King Nebuchadnezzar. Now, the story has a very quick background where the king made a golden statue of himself and he commanded or he ordered the people that when the music goes off, they must all bow down and worship his idol. Right? So, we see here that King Nebuchadnezzar is actually challenging God. Yes, beloved. He was challenging God and the people of Israel. And many of them kept silent. And many of them gave in to the worldly pleasure of the time. Many of them gave in to the golden statue, to the idol. When the music was sounded, everyone knelt down and worshipped the idol. And we see this in the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 3, verse 6. And whoever does not fall down and worship shall be cast immediately into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. You see, the challenge there was that, hey, if you do not bow down and worship the idol, you will be cast into the fire. A fiery furnace. You know, personally, most probably I would be afraid if I was there and put in that position. The earthly man of the flesh will be afraid. I'm sure you'll be afraid as well. But I want to draw your attention to these three young men. Daniel, in the book of Daniel chapter 3, right? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They chose to stand out. They knew their God. They believed in their God. And believe you me, ladies and gentlemen, when you try to stand out, when you try and represent the body of Christ and Christ himself 
men and women will rise up against you. It, it has been like this from the beginning of time. The moment a child of God stands up for righteousness, the moment a child of God stands up for what is right, he will be run down by the world. He will be judged by the world. But when you are a child of God, you will not be afraid like these three young men. You know, in the story, the idol was made for everyone to worship. What is yours and mine's idol today? You know, the system of this world is wicked. And remember, men and women will always rise up against you. I see this in the book of Daniel chapter 3 verse 12. There are certain Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not paid due regard to you. They do not serve you, your gods, or worship the gold image which you have set up. You see, beloved, man will always find an issue with you when you stand up for his right. But let us be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Right now, let's be like them. They knew their God. They chose to fear God more than the judgment of the world system. These three young men refused to bow down to the gods of this world. The question may be asked, have we bowed down to the gods of this world? Lying, greed, lust, hate, its worldly pleasures and sins. It's time for the church to stand up. It's time for you and I to stand up. How often lying, greed, hate, the worldly pleasures, these are just as good as the idol that was put back in the day by King Nebuchadnezzar. And we are, are we like the people who sheepishly bowed down to it, forgetting who their God is? How powerful our God is. Beloved, do not give in to the worldly system. I pray that you and I will ask God to grant us boldness. To make us courageous to stand up for what is right like these three young men. We need to be bold, beloved. In Ecclesiastes, chapter 8 verse 12 reads, Though a sinner does evil a hundred times, and his days are prolonged. Yet I surely know that it will be well with those who fear God, who fear before him. Beloved, do you and I have this holy fear? Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego had this holy fear. They feared the Lord. They knew that he was the only living God and this statue, this idol, the last, the pleasures of this world could not hold them back from worshipping and honoring their God. Beloved, tonight I pray that we will fear God with this holy fear. We will do what is right in His sight. We will stand up for righteousness. The world will bring all its lusts and pleasures and lay it before us and present it all beautiful, but can we Stand up and say, I will not bow down to these. I will not give in to these. I know who I am. I know who my God is. Remember the book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 33 reads, Whoever disowns me before others, I will disown before my Father in heaven. Beloved, let us not disown our Jesus. Let us not give in to the world and its pleasures and sins. Because our Jesus will one day disown us if we disown him. Let us stand up. Let us rise up to the occasion and give glory to God in the most difficult situations and circumstances in our lives. I don't know what your idol may be. I don't know what may be drawing you further and further away from God, but I encourage you to come back to God, fear Him. The Bible says that the fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. It's the beginning of wisdom. Come back to God. 
Do not bow down to these idols of this world. Of this world rather. Let us stand up like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. And say we will not bow down. Why? Because we knew we or we know who our God is. And we see as a, as a result of their defiance, the king's orders were to sentence them to be thrown into the fire. And here we look in the story, the men that bound them with the ropes and took them to be thrown into the fire, those men burned and died. The ropes that they were tied with burned, but nothing happened to these three young men. When you are in the will of God and men or men try to and women rise up against you to hurt you, to cause harm to you, they will not harm you because you are a child of God. They may want to throw you into the furnace. But they will be destroyed because Jesus protects us. We are in the hollow of his palm. We are covered by his blood. His precious blood, beloved. Do not be scared. Do not be afraid. God is with us. And we see in the book of Daniel chapter 3, verse 24. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and he rose in haste and spoke saying to his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, True, O king. Look, he answered, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they are not hurt and the form of the fourth is like the son of God beloved when you stand up for righteousness when you stand up for what is right as a child of God and you honor God and do his will the Bible says no weapons formed against us shall prosper it does not say weapons will not be formed Yes, the enemy will form their wickeds, but they can come on out and they can try. But when you are a child of God, those weapons will not harm you. They will not prosper, says the Lord. Oh man, we are privileged to be sons and daughters of this great and mighty God. He delivered Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego from the fire. He will surely deliver you and I. All we need to do is stand out. Stand out as children of God. Be set apart for God's glory. In the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 reads, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, you shall not, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. Nor shall the flames scorch you. Beloved, Nebuchadnezzar realized who these men were. He finally had a, or caught a glimpse of God's glory through these three young boys. They saw Christ with, the, with them in the fire. Can the people around you see Christ in you? Can the people around me see Christ in me? Beloved, let us stand out today. We are called for a great and mighty purpose and that is to live for God, to honor Him, and to stand out. Let us pray. <clears throat> Father, I worship you. I praise you and I adore you. I thank you, Lord, for your breath of life that you have given unto us that we could see another day. Forgive us, Lord, because we fail you. Forgive me, Lord, because I fail you. But I thank you, Lord, for your word that declares you will never leave me nor forsake me. You will be with us until the very end, O oh Lord. And for that, I want to honor you and thank you. Grant me boldness, Lord Jesus, to spread the good news. Help us, O oh Lord, not to give in to the world and its pleasures, but help us to focus on you, O oh Lord. And even when we are put through the fire experience, O oh Lord, it may be tough, but I know, Lord, that you are on the way. And you will show up in an unexpected time and your glory will be revealed, just like you did for these three young men, Lord. You showed up on time, Father. You will show up in our lives. No matter what the circumstance or situation may be, O oh Lord, you will lead us and guide us through your Holy Spirit to do your will. I love you, I praise you, and I worship you, Jesus. Touch all those who are watching online tonight and about in your presence. Bless them and use them like never before. We love you and praise you in Jesus' name.
Amen and Amen. Amen. Take care and God bless.